Pornography warps and twists the minds of everyone that it touches. It degrades relationships, it damages marriages, it ruins our ethics and morals, it unravels the bonds that bind our society together. And the internet has made the foulest kinds of pornography available to whole, the whole world for free. Worst, we have become so desensitized to the evil of pornography that it is no longer considered evil, filthy, or even shameful. Yes, shame. We've lost a sense of that. We don't even know what it is anymore. In short, pornography destroyed us, and it's killing you. I had a ringside seat for the growth of the internet. I had one of the first PCs ever produced. My first job out of college was helping companies set up networks so that they could operate more quickly and efficiently. When I was in finance, I made my biggest call to buy Apple stock in 1996 when the news came out that Steve Jobs was coming back to Apple. The partners in the investment firm didn't listen and they aren't in business anymore. And when the internet came into being, we all wanted to be on it. We all wanted to reach out and touch the other, other side of the world. To this day, I still remember that fantastic moment when I connected to a computer in Japan for the first time. It might sound like old hat to you, but we weren't in the, but you weren't in the midst of the fantastic growth of the computer industry, where we just had rudimentary hardware and dreams of what might be. Even science fiction books written in those early days were not able to foresee what we have today, nor did we understand in those early days what the driving force of the internet would be. There were a lot of attempts at making money on the internet, but the first and primary purpose was the free exchange of information and ideas. And when connection speeds increased, we were able to exchange pictures and then videos. Did you know the industry that was the first to make money on the internet? That's right, pornography. And it's also the number one reason why your internet connection is so fast. There was an insatiable demand for pornography and it was hard for the internet to keep up. In fact, one of the reasons why some internet services would block pornography was because it would take up so much bandwidth. If they didn't, nothing else would get through. But the internet has gotten so fast that we don't worry so much about th th these things anymore. In fact, the internet is so fast and cheap that you can get the hardest of hardcore pornography for free. And I am truly amazed at how awful it has become. When I was a kid, pornography came via a magazine carefully concealed in brown paper. When video came along, you videotape came along, you had to go to the bad part of town to get your X-rated videotapes. Even X-rated DVDs weren't so easy to get. Then porn hit the internet. And all that you needed to do was claim that you were 18 or older and you could watch as much of it as you wanted. And it is one of, if not the leading cause of sexual corruption in America. When I left the United States as a painfully single young man in 1992, the question on every young man's mind was, do you kiss on the first date? When God dragged me back from Israel 14 years later, that wasn't the question anymore. And by leaps and bounds, pornography has leapt across the globe. It went from being a Western phenomenon to being truly worldwide. It was everywhere, so much so that the number one reason why I have an ad blocker is to stop from being assaulted by pornographic advertisements. Why? The majority of those who research finance and geopolitics are male. And porn producers know that every guy is vulnerable to porn. So to stop having female anatomy from being waved in my face, I had to set up the best ad blocker that I could find. And right now that's uBlock Origin. And I get nothing from them for saying that. And for a while, lots of social media sites were permissive about porn. But when pedophiles started uploading child porn, social media had to stop being permissive. Tumblr did that, and their traffic fell by 30%. Think about that. A social media site had 30% of their users coming 
for just porn, for just pornography. And then they stopped coming when they turned off the pornography. What a horrible reflection upon our society. And when I saw that I got saw that I got upset and went looking for more statistics on pornography. Right off the top, you don't even need to look up any statistics to know that almost all of those who stopped going to Tumblr were men. Well, mostly men, since Pornhub reports that 29% of their viewership is now female. Worse, Pornhub is proud of the fact that this 29% figure is a big 3% increase over the past year worldwide. When I went to find statistics on pornography, I realized that no one does better stats than Pornhub. They are proud of the amount of pornography that they churn out. In fact, they are so proud of themselves that they boast of having 115 years worth of pornography video. You can spend 115 years watching pornography on their site and not repeat one video. And they are getting 92 million visits a day and the data bandwidth that they are consuming every day is more than the entire bandwidth of the internet in 2002. And every minute, about 64,000 new visitors are being newly corrupted every day. And since they are business-minded, Pornhub also added a social network element where shameless users can communicate with each other. Oh, and if you want to know a big reason why that moron porn star Stormy Daniels went public, She's the number one search on Pornhub. That stupid woman is making money by all the publicity that she's getting. Oh, and who has the most horrendously huge traffic on Pornhub? Can you guess? The nation? The country? Can you? Yeah, you guessed it. It's America. Americans watch as much porn as the next three largest consumers of porn on Pornhub combined. The UK, India, and Japan with room left over for some of Canada, who is in fifth place. And India has really jumped on the porn bandwagon in the 18 to 24 age demographic. India is double. And then in the in percentage terms, almost anyone else be over almost anyone else. And <clears throat> sorry, the 25 to 34 demographic is also huge in Indiana. Sorry, India. Losing my mind. 18 to 34. Man, those guys are really consuming porn in, in, in India. This means that India is being corrupted by pornography at a highly accelerated rate. And it's all because of America. In the Philippines, they are accelerating, accelerating up the rankings in porn viewership. Up three places just from last year. This breaks my heart since the Filipino people are some of the nicest on the planet yet they are being destroyed. Oh, and now that Syria is coming out of her civil war, she has rocketed into Pornhub st statistics. But still, only 20 countries represent 80% of daily traffic on Pornhub. Again, with America at the top. Now, I started out talking about the advent of computers and how computers were connecting to the internet. What I didn't get into was the smartphone. And most people are watching all this pornography on their smartphones. The bottom line, the internet is the worst thing that has ever happened to us and to the world. And this is horrifying. But this is just Pornhub. I haven't even touched the other statistics that I've found. And no, I will not give a link to the statistics page of Pornhub. Thankfully, I didn't need to touch any other part of that site than their stats page. Not even their home page, thankfully. <clears throat> but just combing through their statistics was revolting. They're so proud of what they've accomplished. They are positively crowing about how much pornography they have inflicted upon us, as well as where it's coming from and who is viewing it. They love talking about the kind of pornography that appeals to which kind of person. They are wallowing in their utter depravity. How wretched and evil must you be to joyfully proclaim all this? If you want to know one of the big reasons why God must destroy America, this is one of them. All of that porn is based in America. More than 90% of worldwide pornography comes from America. 
I'm afraid that there is a lot more to talk about on this subject, but I must stop here. But before I do, let me show you a heartbreaking video that I stumbled across. In fact, I'm not sure that I'll be able to include it here, but that video is a YouTube titled Over 18, a documentary about pornography. In that video, a child has been, is shown to have been horribly damaged. And we did this, we Americans, we allowed it, we gave it money, we fed the flames, and this evil reaches into every home around the world. Only those too poor to have an internet connection are free. <laughs> 